Let us now review the basic concepts of vectors with the help of these multiple choice questions. Question number one, equal vectors. We are given four choices. Question number two, when opposite vectors are added, then what happens? Four choices are given to us. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Well, that's what you should be doing for most of my videos. So whenever you see my videos and some questions like that, they are for you to practice so that you can understand what concepts you have really understood. Question number one is equal vectors. So they have same magnitude only. So it's not just the magnitude. They have both magnitude and direction as same, right? R only parallel. R only in the same direction. And these have same magnitude and have the same direction. So of course, answer D is perfectly right for equal vectors. They should have same magnitude and should have same direction. Question number two is, when opposite vectors are added, what do you get? You get a zero vector, right? So let's look into the choices. The resultant is twice the original vector. That's wrong. The resultant is zero. Well, we'll think about it. And C is the resultant is a zero vector. Option D is both B and C. Well, when we say resultant is zero, it is a wrong statement. Whenever you are adding or subtracting vectors, what you get is a vector, right? The number zero is not a vector. That's why B is not correct. C is the only correct answer here. The resultant is zero vectors. So it's kind of important to understand that when you add opposite vectors, you get a vector, and that is a zero vector. Well, zero vector will have magnitude of zero, but undefined direction, right? So kind of is tricky, but that is important for you to understand. I hope this distinction between zero and zero vector helps you. So let's continue with these multiple choice questions and understand the basic concepts of vectors. Thank you and all the best.